السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن ڈیٹا سائنس ٹوڈے وی ول کنٹینیو ایکسپلورنگ ڈیٹا ٹرانسفارمیشن ٹیکنیکس بائی ڈائیونگ ان ٹو ٹو ڈیٹا اسکیلنگ میتھڈس نارملائزیشن اینڈ اسٹینڈرائزیشن ان دس ویڈیو وی ول بریک ڈاؤن ورڈ نارملائزیشن اینڈ اسٹینڈرائزیشن آ وائی دے آر امپورٹنٹ اینڈ ہاؤ یو کین اپلائی دیم یوزنگ نومیریکل ایگزامپلس اینڈ پائتھن امپلیمنٹیشن Let's start with the normalization. Normalization scales the data between a specific range. It is especially useful when we want our features to be proportionally scaled. Some machine learning models, especially distance-based algorithms like KNN or SVM, can be sensitive to the scale of the data. Normalizing data ensures that no feature disproportionality influences the results just because of it has larger numbers we will discuss two normalization techniques one is called min max scaling and the other one is decimal scaling here is a common formula for min max scaling to scale the data between 0 and 1 x min is the minimum value and x max is the maximum value in that feature but you can specify your own range of minimum and maximum values using this formula in this formula min range and max range are the desired minimum and maximum values for the new range let me give you a quick example suppose we have the following data sets of person's height in centimeter and weight in kilograms if we don't normalize the height values ranging from 160 till 180 it will dominate over the weight values that ranging from 60 to 90 now let's normalize it in the range of 0 and 1 the highest value of each feature will transform to 1 and the lowest values of each feature will transform to 0 and the remaining values will lie between 0 and 1 we can also normalize it using any provided range for example negative 1 to positive 1 After normalization both height and weight will be on common scale allowing them to contribute equally to distance calculation in machine learning algorithms Now let's see how can we normalize the data in python We will use the air quality dataset which has different attributes on various scales First from scikit-learn we need to import min max scalar we will create an instance for min max scalar by calling the fit transform method and passing the data set into it we can normalize the data between 0 and 1 Now let's discuss decimal scaling. It is a method of scaling used to handle data with large numbers such as income or house prices. Large values can cause issues during storage and processing especially in machine learning models where such large numbers may lead to computational inefficiencies. Decimal scaling transforms these values by shifting the decimal point dividing the data by the power of 10 to make them easier to work while preserving the relative difference between them here is the formula for decimal scaling here j is the smallest integer such that the large absolute value in the data set is less than 1 after scaling consider a data set representing income here the largest value is 15 lakhs To apply decimal scaling to the data set we need to scale the data by dividing by the power of 10 such that the largest value becomes less than 1 the largest value in the data set is 15 lakhs to bring this value below 1 we need to divide by 10 raised to power 7 now dividing all the values by 10 raised to the power 7 and here is the data set after applying the decimal scaling you can see that we have scaled the data and also preserve the relative differences between them now let's talk about standardization standardization or 
z score normalization scales the data to have a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1 standardization is crucial for algorithms that assume data follows a gaussian distribution such as linear regression logistic regression or any algorithm that uses gradient descent so here is the formula for standardization and we have also seen the same formula when we were dealing the outliers using the z-score method. This is the same formula but the purpose of usage is different. We minus the mean of the feature from each data point and then divide by the standard deviation. Let's take the same data set of height and weight. We will standardize it by calculating the mean and standard deviation. After calculating the mean and standard deviation of both features, we can use the z-score formula to standardize the data. Here we can see that the data has been transformed such that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Now let's implement standardization in Python. We need to import standard scalar from the scikit-learn library. Similar to min-max scalar, we have to call the fit transform method and pass the data into it. And here we have the transformed data and we can check and verify that if the mean is near to 0 and the standard deviation is 1. So when should you use normalization and when should you use standardization? Use normalization when you need to scale features to a fixed range for algorithms that are sensitive to the relative magnitude of the data. Use standardization when the data follows a normal or near to normal distribution or when the machine learning algorithm assumes that the features are centered around zero and have a similar spread. In summary, both normalization and standardization are key techniques for data scaling. They help your machine learning models perform optimally by ensuring that your data is on the same scale. Remember to choose the method that aligns with your algorithm's assumption and your data's characteristics. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.